hello 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 um if you don't know me my name is kenyatta and today's date is september 22nd and it's almost 5 30 p.m so welcome back i'm so glad that you guys are here um so today um oops i forgot to turn the stove off <laughs> okay so today I was like, okay, Kenyatta, so we should start being more consistent with posting on the channel and actually talking about the things that we really want to talk about. I asked myself, I was like, what what do I want to share today? And I was like, well, there's a lot of things you, you have to you want to talk about and express. And there's so many, there's just so many conversations that I just want to start. So I was like, well, let me just start with one that was recent and that conversation is sex so before we jump into this conversation i do want to um that's why i have the sage here have a little blue to help with the throat chakra to help me to speak clearly and get my um get whatever it is that i'm trying to get across in a clear way so that way you guys can understand and feel what i'm saying um, but I wanted to set the intentions on this video. Um, my intentions are to just start conversations um, about things that we don't like talking about. Um, growing up, I didn't have that. I didn't have um, a place, a safe space to uh, express myself or express whatever issues or feelings that I was going through in the moment. So my intentions with my entire channel is just to honestly start a dialogue start a conversation and i want to let you know that this right here in this area on this channel this is a safe space i will not tolerate you know the negative comments towards anyone in the comment section or towards myself okay so this is a safe space um for you to express yourself to have your own opinion um these are things that i wish i had as a child that i want to grant myself this now and grant my viewers that as well so that's that um also too i did not so growing up since i didn't get to talk about a lot of things i felt very isolated um i felt i felt alone like i felt like I was the only one going through this issue and since no one talked about certain things i just felt alone honestly and so my other intentions is just to let you know that whatever it is that you're going through um, whatever feelings that you're feeling you're not alone whatever experiences that you're feeling i know it's so cliche but you're not alone and hopefully with me showing up as my real self my authentic self being honest about my feelings my experiences um i hope to encourage you to do the same thing and to just show up as yourself and to um just to share your stories and release release a lot of um energy and things that, that don't serve you so uh yeah so now that we got there so let's get into it so like i said i did take notes here so i can kind of be organized and not be going everywhere um if i have to take a sip of water that's just because my mouth is getting dry and actually we're getting a little low so let me fill it up a little bit okay water <laughs> so let's do it raw conversations part one topic one with kenyatta wow this is this is amazing i'm so happy i'm actually really happy to be having this conversation because it, it's like i'm so excited to just share this with you guys and also to hear how you feel and your experiences as well all right so how did the conversation of sex how did i choose this as my first discussion well a couple of days ago actually to be exact because i journaled about it it was september 20th of 2022 at 8 30 p.m i like to put timestamps on my entry so that way I can kind of see and have an idea 
of what time it is, um, what what's the date, you know, just to have an idea. And I, plus, I always have this thing in my brain as if, if I ever, well, when I die, if somebody digs up all my stuff, <laughs> they can be like, oh, she was here on this time and this day. No, it's weird, but that's just the thing I be thinking of when I want to stamp everything. I don't know. But anyways, and so, um, yeah, it was, it was September 20th. Um, it was 8 30 p.m. I had just woken up from a two hour nap and I had noticed throughout the day that while I was working after work I noticed that I was if I'm being honest with you I was wanting to release energy and what I mean by energy is sexual energy um, I felt the need to just like I was thinking about it it crosses my mind I mean we're human we think about sex all the time right excuse me so i was thinking about it and i just kept you know i didn't act on it you know by you know masturbation or porn i just kind of was just like oh it's there and then i'll just you know go about it a different way or scroll through my phone distract myself pretty much and so it got to a point where i got tired of scrolling and then i remember sitting up in the bed and i was just like okay I, sometimes i talk to myself so it helps me process things out loud so i was sitting there i sat on the bed and i was just looking up and i was looking around and i was just like okay let's be real kenyatta like let's be real what is it that you're feeling and why and so i was like well i was sitting there thinking to myself well i mean uh i want to release energy but it's i don't really want the act of i don't really want the act of sex I just want to release though that feeling and so I started looking up you know like I said I am learning about energy you know we have different energy centers within our body and um, those are called chakras if I'm pronouncing it right chakras 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 and so um, I mentioned the throat chakra like throat chakra is good for like expressing yourself expressing your feelings speaking things of that nature um, so when it came to my feelings, my sexual feelings, I was like, okay, I automatically knew that that dealt with my sacral chakra, which is in the pelvic area, um, pelvic region of the body. And basically that deals with, um, just like, it deals with your emotions, your, your desires, um, sexual energy, pleasure, all of that. And so I was like, okay, you know, I'm tired of scrolling through my phone. Let me just look up wait let me google um ways to fulfill my sacral chakra or make my sacral chakra balance or whatever it is and so when i was looking it up i was looking through you know looking through google and it had mentioned a couple of things like you know when it's off balance or when it's in balance and when your chakra when your sacral chakra is balanced and so one of the things that it mentioned um as far as with, whenever your sacral chakra is in balance basically you overindulge in sexual activities um you're overwhelmed by your emotions or your feelings you, you may have physical health issues like you know sexual reproductive issues um, hip issues pelvic issues things of that nature and so it was saying and then also it recommended um ways that you can balance your sacral chakra and so it had a couple of things like affirmations you know journaling yoga movement of the bo lower body so, excuse me and so at the time i was just like okay it's 8 30 well it's past you know it's almost it's about to be 8 30 at this time before i started journaling but i was just like oh, i don't feel like i don't feel like doing yoga i really don't feel like moving a lot and um, one of the other recommendations that it had was self-reflection so i was like okay i mean i guess like um, I was thinking like, this is me just sitting on the bed, just thinking out loud, like thinking to myself like, okay, well, I don't really feel like, I was like, well, what if I journal, like what am I journal about? And so <laughs> I was like, you know what? I can just talk about sex. Like what's wrong with talking about sex? And I was like, that, that's basically what I was, I was having this conversation with myself. Like what's wrong with me? Why am I avoiding this? Like, why am I avoiding the conversation? So let me take you back. I'm not gonna read, so I'm gonna read. I highlighted certain parts that I wanted to read 
Now, of course, I ended up writing like from 8.30 all the way until 9.42 p.m., okay? So your girl did some releasing, all right? <laughs> Definitely did some releasing. So I'm gonna read you uh, just a, a, a few parts of what I wrote. Got up here, so the title of this is called Sex, all right? This is the date over here. And so I was like, okay, I woke up from a two hour nap, scrolled through my phone. I kept getting that feeling I, of, I guess, wanting to release energy through masturbation or watching porn, but I kept resisting, mainly because I didn't want to have to deal with the aftermath, cleaning myself up, etc. So I first, so I first, after scrolling through YouTube, I got up, went to go pee, washed my hands, looked at myself in the mirror, came back to the living room area, read baby boy, a book, and then I sat quietly while my brain was trying to think of ways I could creatively pour my energy into something not sexual. So I Googled sacral chakra fulfillment ideas. It had a few suggestions, affirmations, self-reflection, yoga, etc. Then, instead of trying to avoid this feeling, I thought, well, let's talk about it. And so just a pause right there. That is one thing that I noticed that I've done a lot. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, when you grow up and you don't have a safe space to talk about your feelings or how you're feeling, you, you take that into your adult life. And at 26, I see that's what I did a lot with myself. Um, I avoided a lot of my feelings. Now that I'm in this process of being more intentional about healing, especially while I'm pregnant, like I try to make a conscious effort to bring awareness to whatever feelings that I'm feeling. So back to here. So I said, um, so I thought, you know, well, let's talk about it. Sex, the feeling you're wanting and, and you're experiencing with sex. So I grabbed my pen and my paper and started writing. Now I'm here. So the first question I asked myself, why was I trying to avoid it? Really? Like, why was I honestly trying to avoid talking about it? And then I put in here, I said, well, because I knew deep down, I'm really dot, dot, dot. And this is when I, when I have my pauses, I put dot, dot, dot. I said, I'm really dot, 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 I don't know, feeling lonely. And I said, I use sex as a void filler, especially in this last relationship. And then I said, before I started writing, I had quick flashbacks of all the times I've had sex in the past. Sometimes we're good um, at times, but then during this pregnancy, I had a chance to have more sober sex, sex that didn't include alcohol or drugs. So where are we getting at, Kenyatta? Like, why are you telling us all of this? All right, so the reason why me taking the time to sit with myself, to sit with, just to sit and be like, hey, I noticed you're feeling this way. Let's talk about it. That allowed me to open up a book of myself, I guess, if that's the right way to put it. It allowed me to explore things that I have been suppressing. Um, and it started off with me asking myself, well, why was I avoiding it? And I said, okay, well, I'm feeling lonely. Oh, hmm you're feeling lonely what is that about like why do you feel lonely and then I started then me being honest with myself in my journal I'm like okay well I use sex as a, a as a void filler meaning when I didn't want to deal with certain things or when I didn't have when I didn't feel like I could express my emotions a certain way sex was kind of like the outlet with my partner my, my partner or whatever and so that allowed me to we like, oh, okay. Then we started jumping. Then I started jumping to, like, I started digging deep, okay? Then I started jumping into the type of sex that I had. Um, and me, with me being pregnant now, realizing that, um, you know, of course, I don't partake in alcohol or drugs, like weed. So I'm having, I was having <laughs> more sober sex. And so then I started thinking about, okay, well, what? what's the um what's the sober sex about and so this is where i continue writing okay so in the dark closed off parts of my mind alcohol slash drugs made me at times get out of my mind 
and then I put about what and then I said everything negative that I thought about myself smells odor performance lack of sorry it's a motorcycle lack of confidence the dread of the session ending you know and, I'm not, and I started talking about I always felt that once the session ended the disconnection started I always felt empty felt disgusting I would cry sometimes afterwards the guy would be confused or lost I think I've always felt sad after sex. I've associated sex as something bad from an early age. And then that's when childhood trauma, I started discussing my childhood trauma and how that played a part. So it's kind of like if, if you, I don't really break down, this is the first time I've ever just really just broke down my journaling. You can see like me just, Throughout my entry, you can see me like breaking down each thought and how each thought leads to me releasing something, releasing, um, releasing energy, releasing, you know, some type of built up energy that I've had in me. Um, basically me asking myself, me opening the conversation for me to be like, okay, what's wrong what's going on what are you feeling what is it that you're wanting what is it that you're needing um then it went to well okay this is what i feel lonely and i've used sex as a sex as a voider okay well how so uh well you know then i started talking about my past experiences with sex drunk sex versus sober sex and then okay well why were you what was the drunk sex about which Correct. Don't don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with, you know, being intoxicated and having sex. But when it comes to you doing it um, often, when it becomes a thing where you're doing it every day with your partner. What's up, bird? This bird keeps. <laughs> it's like keep talking your shit, girl. <laughs> uh, okay, my bad, my bad, bird. Okay, so um, yeah, so. When it comes to a point where you're doing it, like you're having so much drunk sex and you're not actually dealing with it, it becomes a void filler. Just like anything else, you know what I'm saying? When you have to have a drink every day, when you get off work, in order for you to go to sleep, you're depending on it. And so in this case, if I'm being honest with myself, um, especially with my last relationship, I was using you know, alcohol, we we couldn't really express our emotions with each other. I didn't feel safe and, and he probably didn't feel safe either. So we, you know, well let's get drunk. We can have we can have these drinks and be cool, da da da. So I started talking about, you know, drunk sex versus sober sex. And then I started being honest with myself about why I was getting drunk to have sex, which also led to me revealing childhood um, trauma um you know from you know growing up and having these negative concepts about sex and how you know sex is bad i've used sex as this bad thing and how god is watching and you know all these all these negative thoughts around it and so once after i had finally went through because i went through like pages and pages which I'm not gonna go into details, but like just pages and pages of me. So once I got to the end, I worked on affirming myself. And affirming myself, meaning this is what I said. And as I lay here carrying my first child, all I can say is thank you spirit for this moment of realization, or just thank you Kenyatta for allowing me to be vulnerable tonight and shed in so many ways. Just know that it wasn't your fault. You didn't cause those things to happen to you. You can release that way it doesn't serve you. And sometimes you may have to shed stuff moment by moment. But today, right now, I am proud of you. Thank you for your bravery, openness, and honesty. And so I started writing affirmations. I released ownership of my past trauma. It wasn't my fault. I released feelings of guilt about my experiences. I released negative thoughts of myself towards those experiences. I forgive myself for the ways that I've dealt with the pain. I, for, I forgive myself for allowing certain people in my sacred space. I release shame, guilt, blame, all of it. I forgive those that betrayed me. 
and so forth i forgive myself so <laughs> i said a lot <laughs> during that moment i was able to instead of actually just i think we have a tendency to just want to avoid negative feelings in this case the negative feeling that i was feeling was lonely loneliness you know sex is not the, the only thing that i would go to for to fulfill my loneliness um but it, it, it's a part of that uh, of one of the void fillers that i had so i mean you have scrolling through social media you have you know i have been binge watched youtube tv or youtube channels all that so i had to make a conscious effort to just be like Okay, Kenyatta, I see you feeling some type of way, sis. What's up? So now, um, once I did that, and once I released in that way, and once I allowed myself, once I allowed my inner child an opportunity to feel, to, to be present, to be like, okay, this is what's up, I felt so much better. I mean, when I tell y'all, I wrote like pages and pages, just going, just going through. And the thing is like, this is not the first time I've talked about it. So that's why it was easier to talk, to write it on paper. But when I allowed myself that space and felt safe enough to do it, it felt so rewarding. Like it felt honestly better than sex. I felt seen, I felt heard. My inner child felt heard, felt seen, felt like, okay. Like she cares, like Kenyatta cares to know what I'm experiencing, what I'm feeling right now. Um, and I think for me on this journey here, nighttime was when a lot of of the trauma took place. And so so I'm trying to find things to do, like I'm, you know, just doing all kinds of stuff. So in that moment I had took a two hour nap, so your girl was wide awake, sitting on the bed, just like, what are we gonna do? You know? So, um, now now that you guys hear, heard me say all this i want to challenge you to do the same thing just to stop and sit and uh, sit with yourself sit with those feelings sit with that little that rough like ugh, i don't wanna i don't wanna talk about this so i'd rather do this like I, I challenge you to sit with that um and so i have some questions for you that you can share your experience in the comments okay let me take a sip of water <laughs> Okay, so my first question for you is, what do you do when you get lonely? And is it healthy long-term, all right? Like I said, there's no right or wrong answer, you know, but I would like to challenge you to just sit with yourself and kind of just think of like, when I get lonely, what do I do? And is there another option? Do I have other options? And if you don't have, if you feel like you don't have options, try to think of, challenge yourself to try to think of something like here lately uh, with your sacral with my sacral chakra instead of releasing that in a sexual way or fulfilling the sexual desire I'm choosing to be more creative to pour my energy into creating more YouTube videos to, to talk about the things that I've been wanting to talk about so that's that so yeah so what do you do when you get lonely is it healthy long term and think of ways to um, creatively pour your energy into something, if that's what it is. Uh, the second question is, do you still carry shame and guilt? These questions you don't necessarily have to answer in the comments. I would love for you to answer in the comments, just so other people could, you know, see it for themselves. Um, and also realize and understand that they're not the only ones dealing with it as well. Uh, so definitely that. So yeah, do you still carry shame and guilt? And the next, the last question is, how do we work on releasing that? How do we work on that? So for me, it definitely takes work. It's not a one-time fix-it-all type situation. It's more so, you know, I have to constantly remind myself, get in that uh, muscle memory of reminding myself like, hey, this wasn't your fault. Don't feel bad. It's okay. I release that, yo. I release the shame. I release all of that. So yeah, definitely tune in. Um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to sit with me and hear me talk about these things. I hope that um, 
it inspires you and encourages you to allow yourself a safe space for you to express how you feel and just to be honest about it and to just be real and um yeah i just hope to spark that conversation tell me what you think about it if this video resonated with you if you felt the energy if you loved the vibes definitely tune in some more like and subscribe okay but thank you guys so much for tuning in we'll have more conversations like this all right peace bye